Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Text Passion Podcast. So the other day, I was asked on how I make the choice between Arduino or Raspberry Pi for my project. To be more like broadly, what's the difference between microcontroller and a single board computer? And this is what we're going to discuss in today's episode. So first, we will start with the definition. Then we will show some examples and we'll discuss the main primary differences between the two. And I'll show you some projects that I've built with both. Speaking of the Raspberry Pi, by the way, I've heard that the release date for the Raspberry Pi was pushed to 2024. I'm not sure if this is just rumors or if this was uh, true. So as far as I know, we were supposed to get a Raspberry Pi 5 towards the end of 2023, but it seems like this is going to be 2024. And I believe the delay is still related or being impacted by the supply chain and, and all that stuff. Uh, let me know if you have any information uh, from like a more reputable source. Um, the information I have is just probably just rumors. I'm not sure. Um, anyway, uh, let's get into it. So first, uh, let's talk about the definition for the microcontroller. It's, it says here uh, it's a compact integrated circuit designed uh, to govern a specific operation in an embedded system. Well, in English, it's a simple small board that you embed in your project to control DC motor, LED, servos, things like that. Now, a good example of a microcontroller would be uh, the Arduino. That's probably the most uh, common one. Uh, that's the one that most people know is the, or the Arduino Uno. Uh, I have uh, a project on my channel that is using the Illigo Uno. I think that's just a copy or a clone of the Arduino. So it's the same thing. Another great example of a microcontroller would be the Raspberry Pi uh, Pico or Pico. I'm not sure how, is this Pico or Pico? I'm not sure. Anyway, um, that is another good example. Uh, now let's look at the definition of a single board computer. And it, it's in the name. It's, it's just a full computer that is on a single board. Uh, the best example would be the Raspberry Pi. There are plenty of alternatives. Uh, I have a couple reviews on my channel uh, for some alternatives since it's been kind of difficult to get the Raspberry Pi due to the supply chain. And honestly, they, they do okay. There, there are plenty of them. The first episode I ever uh, in this like podcast uh, series uh, was about discussing Raspberry Pi alternatives. So I highly encourage you to check that out. Let's look at uh, some more examples here. Uh, there are some uh, this is the Raspberry Pi. This is an orange Pi. Uh, this is a Lee potato. This this one I have uh, reviewed on my channel. So check that out. Uh, there is the Renegade, which is the Lee potato brother. That one is also good. Um, yeah, there are plenty of these alternatives. Now let's get into the main differences between the microcontroller and the single board computer. Um, I would say the obvious difference would be the cost. Microcontroller are very cheap compared to a single board computer. But, well, should you just use a microcontroller all the time and save the money? If you can, yeah, depending, depending on your project need. Because single board computer offer a lot more. For example, a lot more processing power uh, while you're way more limited with the microcontroller. The functionality, uh, they usually have like USB, uh, Ethernet port, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, things like that, that comes with the single board computer that the microcontroller does not offer. Uh, it's definitely more complex. The, the microcontroller are more simplified and you usually interact with them through the GPIO while the single board computer, you can, let's say, hook it up to your internet and then, uh, access it remotely, things like that. So it's definitely more complex uh, project you can deal with. Uh, it comes with, uh, with a little bit more 
extra cost when it comes to the price. Uh, yeah, the main difference also, like one of the main differences is the connectivity. So you would definitely get, like I mentioned, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, uh, USB, Ethernet, which you don't really get with the microcontroller. You, you, can, you can expand your microcontroller, like don't get me wrong here, uh, for let's say your Arduino, you can add uh, a Wi-Fi if you would like, which is like, an, that's like an expansion. So you would add another board that will um, add Wi-Fi to your Arduino. Now, one benefit that I would say goes to the microcontroller big time, it's the power consumption. So if your project runs on battery, for example, you're building uh, a robot. Uh, let me show you a good example here. So this robot here I made with a Raspberry Pi. However, had I made this with an Arduino, it would have been so much better. The Raspberry Pi may be an overkill for this project, and an Arduino would have done the same job with much less power requirement. Uh, I've struggled a lot with the power, and especially adding more batteries would increase the robot weight. So an Arduino would have been a better choice in, 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 in that case. So yeah, the power consumption is much lower on a microcontroller. Another thing is the size. So you can see the, the size of the, of the Raspberry Pi and the Arduino or any other um, microcontroller, generally speaking, they're smaller in size. So you can easily embed them in, in your project, uh, supply them with power, and they would uh, usually accommodate better if you need something for like lighter weight, smaller size, less power consumption. It, it's all going to go back and, and to the cost. So if you can make your project work with a microcontroller, I would say that's the right choice. If the, for whatever reason, the microcontroller does not give you enough power for what you need, then you would have to kind of upgrade to the level of a single board computer, which is definitely a lot more powerful and a little bit more expensive, but it's going to offer you uh, a lot more uh, flexible, a lot more options and flexibility for, for your project. One last obvious difference between microcontroller and a single board computer is the output. So the single board computer most likely will offer you an HDMI output so you can connect that to your uh, monitor and then connect like a keyboard, mouse, and use it like a computer. Uh, once again, like it's, it's in the name. It is a kind of a full on computer that can run uh, a Linux. It can run a uh, different uh, kind of software while the microcontroller, it's programmable through an IDE, but you still need your laptop. So you cannot just connect the Arduino to an HDMI monitor. Um, you would likely need a laptop and then using the Arduino IDE, then you can program uh, your Arduino and upload your code on it that way. So that's one of the main key differences, I would say. So keep that in mind. And that's uh, a big factor also in determining which one to use. Uh, do you need the microcontroller or do you need a single board computer for your project? This is it for today's episode. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.